Hey guys, and welcome back to Luigi's Mansion 2. This part will cover the bonus missions for Haunted Towers and Old Clockworks, so let's begin the hostile intrusion. Yay! We have nothing to say anymore! <laughs> also, I like how Egad thinks that bad news in quotation marks is elite scientific vocabulary. Shit's gone wax on Egad's like alternate universe self. So Haunted Towers, Richie, it's been a while since we covered uh, the mansion itself, but uh, how, how did you fare in this bonus mission? And as an addendum to that, did you do any of the bonus missions? Oh, I most definitely did. Um, in fact, I, I think when I played the game the first time around, I basically did it, like, I did it how the game wants you to do it, and doing the missions yeah. immediately at the end of each of the mansions. Well, and Tom don't play that way, so... <laughs> Um, but I think at this point, kind of, like, I did reasonably know the mansion layouts, so it's not too bad, although I will say that Haunted Towers is a bit of a pain in the sense of, because you've got the two towers going up. Yeah, yeah. And getting from one side to the other can be a little bit of a pain because certain things aren't connected. I know I get lost at least once during the point of this video because I, I tried to go for like the first take because um, <laughs> Richie uh, kind of uh, told me that he didn't have much more time to record before I think you went home for Christmas or something. Yeah, that happens tomorrow in terms of when this is being recorded. Yeah, yeah. Although, in all fairness, you did tell me about this before and I was busy with other projects. So, you know, <laughs> it, it, it don't really matter. These were easy to record, except for the last one. The last one took me at least four or five tries, but we'll get to that in a bonus video free. Yes, well, I mean, it is the hardest one for obvious reasons. Here's the part where I get lost. Uh, a very rare blooper. Well, yeah, it's because, sort of, like, it's very difficult to remember that that room there is actually blocked off from everything else on the path. You have to kind of go all the way back down, go to that side, and then go all the way up. Well, I won't give for one of the uh, treacherous mansion portals right about now. Well, I mean, you know, the thing that Egad really does need to invent is sort of a portal gun to stick onto the end of the poltergust, because then it would be a poltergust portal gun, and that would be glorious. Oh my god, dude, you're giving me, like, innovation chills over here. Bring that shit into Luigi's Mansion 3. <laughs> Portals that you can create with your vacuum cleaner. I think, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, it may have just been somebody randomly speculating, but I think there are rumours, at least, or speculation, that Luigi's Mansion 3 is in development. Mm, that's... I'm gonna need a source on that one, mate. Yeah, I, I'm not sure how trustworthy a random thread on NeoGAF is, but... <laughs> Richie, don't listen to strangers! <laughs> I didn't try to corrupt our commentary, did you know? That, uh... Kingdom Hearts is coming to the Wii U, even though it can't physically run it. Well, I mean, the thing is, is that there were rumours for many, 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 many years that there was going to be a Kingdom Hearts game on the Wii, and it was going to be like Kingdom Hearts Mushroom or something. Oh, God, yeah, that April Fool's Day shit. That, that, that just kind of stuck around for so long, it's insane. <laughs> that image of Mario, like, with zippers all up on itself. <laughs> You've seen that, right? I don't think I have, actually. Or I might have done, and just, it's been so long since I've seen it that I've just forgotten about it. The amount of demon art images I've seen of, like, Link using, like, a Master Sword Keyblade does not bear repeating. Well, having said that, I seem to recall it being brought up in an interview, I think that Marvel and Star Wars were being thought about for inclusion in Kingdom Hearts 3, which I'm very like... <laughs> I, w I would say stick with secret bosses at least until the Xehanort saga in quotation marks is dealt with. Yes, definitely. I'm not opposed to having like Marvel or Star Wars worlds. Um, City of Heroes would work, you know, Spidey and such. Um, but they need a bit more Disney. Oh god, yeah. I think, I mean, this is something that I think I'm constantly bringing up in my Kingdom Hearts 2 playthrough at the minute, is that the series needs to return to 
focusing a little bit more on the Disney because that is at least half of the reason why people go and play Kingdom Hearts. I think 3D kind of started to get back to that while addressing the really, really batshit insane plot. Or at the very least, the worlds were eclectic enough where I could kind of let the crazy shit slide. But I don't think I'll ever get back to the more, quotation marks, innocent time of KH1. Oh god, no, it's too far gone to be able to ever return to that much. There's, there's all the Xehanort stuff going on now. But I would like... I'd like some Disney bosses back, please. Definitely. Like, we had, spoilers, Julius from Runaway Brain as a secret boss in the 3D. That was amazing. I was, like, so grateful to have that, because I love Runaway Brain. But also, that was the only Disney boss, apart from Rinsler, I think. That was a fun boss, though. It was a fun boss. Very difficult, but... I think he, he was literally the only Disney boss in that entire game. Like, you think back to uh, Kingdom Hearts 1, you had stuff like Clayton, uh, you had uh, Ursula, obviously, uh, Chernobog, stuff like that, but... Uh, Hades, Maleficent, oh, so yeah. Just everybody. This is the last room, I think, and uh, we've been talking about Kingdom Hearts for a while, so I guess we'll have to bring up another subject for the old Clockworks. Uh, do you want me to go back and do just repeat all my facts about clocks? You, you know what? I'm going to get the commentary from the old parts and just basically slap it on. And since it's tied to the video, the sound effects and like music won't sync up at all. It'll be great. <laughs> 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 so, so, Richie, what do you think about this place? Well, the definition of this word is blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I probably could have done that a lot faster, but uh, I did get lost and whatnot. You're definitely going to need to uh, know the layout of both towers to uh, go for the gold here. Yeah, I mean, it is a thing that starts happening from this moment onwards, is that obviously because the mansions get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, it becomes a bit more of a challenge to know where you've got to go and how to get there exactly. But... Although, although, now that you say that, there's like some parts of each mansion, like from here on out, like here, for example, um, well, no, in the next one, in our clockworks, like the underground sections, I was never told to go to, so I'm, I'm willing to bet they keep it in the mansion proper for each one. Probably, I mean, I guess it would just be rather mean to send you from, like, the first room in a mansion all the way to the furthest end yeah. that you could possibly reach and then have to try and get back again. The areas that were very specifically made for story purposes. Yeah. Basically. Yes, way, way, way deep down. Well, I mean, the thing is, is that Luigi does seem to sort of have fun when he's succeeding, which I guess kind of sums up almost every single video game player ever. Uh -huh. It's fun when we're winning, not so much when we're losing. Always with the ghosts. Why did I even start studying ghosts? Egad's here saying, kind of, I can't trace the origin of them. Well, th there are two answers to this. One is obviously dead people. Oh. Uh, that, that's generally where ghosts are seen to have come from. Yeah. And also, who's the primary villain of this game? Hmm. Well, they don't know, like, who is giving all these ghostly shenanigans out of the world right now, so we have to play along. It's true. It's very true. <laughs> I like how the only bits of, like, flavour text they give you are, yeah, you know the drill, capture ghosts, they're stronger this time. Yeah, it's, even the game at this point is just like, just can't be bothered to come up with anything new, so just gonna, you know, just, just blather on, and on, and on, and on, and on. Like that, basically. Hey, did you write this game? <laughs> yes, as a matter of fact, I did actually, and I'm inc incredibly sorry about all the just random flavour text, it's just, it happened. We ran out of time. I'm, I'm putting the blame for like not having one seamless mansion entirely on your shoulders, by the way, because that's what writers do. They influence game mechanics. No, this is actually not what happens at all. <laughs> well, I mean, having said that, I think sometimes the writers do have some vague influence on things. So, like, story ideas yeah. do sometimes lead to gameplay ideas, like... Bayonetta with the, the climax scenes. That's generally a... Like, they think about what they want to do in the story and then think, how can we make this into a cool 
gameplay scene and then go from there. I always wondered how it went for stuff like Sonic Colors, because I, I know they brought in, like, new writers, but did someone else, like, write the main story and then, like, the, um, the, the, the other writers, like, spice up the dialogue, like, make it, like, nice and sarky and whatnot? I'm not actually sure, to be honest. That would be, like, scenario writer versus, like, character script and such, wouldn't it? Yeah, it, it's weird. I mean, I think the closest that I've seen to kind of like how I would envision normal video game writing taking place is like uh, Rihanna Pratchett in Tomb Raider, uh, because I think very much she was at the helm of the story and the scripts, and then kind of working that to fit with how the game was working, um, which is obviously a very different thing to potentially how colors could have worked because you had the Japanese team, and then you had American writers. Yeah, so they can just basically dub stuff. They can't change the outcome of the story because the you know those finished cutscenes and animations and the like. But then there's also the thing of I don't know how much influence the American writers had over the overall story in general, because when it was sort of announced, it kind of seemed like they wrote the story and then it was sort of maybe translated into Japanese or something and yeah, they worked yeah. together, but I don't know. <laughs> so we're just quibbling semantics at this point. Did you notice during these missions, especially the earlier ones, that the ghosts seem a lot less hostile? Almost like the Dark Moon is back up in the sky right now, like complete and whatnot, because slammers would usually make a beeline for me, but there was one back there just cracking its knuckles and whatnot. That's actually very true, yeah. I mean, I guess the reason that they made them less hostile is because of, you know, you got to traverse the entire, well, almost the entirety of the mansion. Ah. Uh. So it's got to have a lot more loaded, and it's got to load a lot more ghosts to, for you to fight, and it's got all the music going on, and it's got the timer, and so I guess they kind of had to take out some of the hostility to maybe fit everything in. I don't know, I'm just kind of blathering my way through that as a point, but it, it sounds reasonably logical. This is the correct beam section, not the other one. The other one was to get uh, one of the mansion's gems, if I recall correctly. Yeah, it does sound about right. Thankfully no one is sleeping on the job in this particular mission. Otherwise we would have had to awaken them rather rudely by blowing a vacuum cleaner into their face. If you don't get up on time next time, I'll fire the uh, the alarm clock right at you. Well, you know, we we could suck up the mallet and use that. That 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 would be a rather amusing attack, having the mallet stuck in the vacuum cleaner and then using it as a mallet, like they do in the Mario and Luigi games. I've always kind of wanted them to bring the hammer into the 3D games, if only to give Mario like a a fourth jump, a quadruple jump, like you do the triple jump, and then on the fourth one he brings out the ha the hammer, which is like spring-loaded, I guess, and you go up even further. So, so basically have some sort of links to Amy and Sonic Boom. Or Sonic Adventure. Yeah, that's very true. Sonic Adventure's probably a better one to go for. <sighs> well, now that you've brought up that comparison, I kind of don't want it to happen, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the thing is, is that obviously Nintendo would be touching it, so it would turn to gold, and Mario would be perfectly fine. Do. Here's the last ghosty. Not too hard of a mission, this one. As you said, like, most of the ghosts aren't that hostile. No. So it is just a uh, see how quickly you can catch ghosts, and that, that's your lot. I do it. I'm just gonna spoil the surprise for you now. They're gold. They're all gold. Ah, oh, you jammy gifts. <laughs> Evidently, Luigi is number one. He is. 
You need to work on your Italian accent, mate. That was terrible. That I know that was terrible. I, I I'm much better at doing Mario, to be honest, than Luigi. And Welsh, and Welsh for some reason, like yeah. <laughs> Like, during the course of this recording session, we had to stop because there was, like, a technical glitch on one of the YouTube videos. Uh, Lu- <laughs> Luigi. Uh, uh, Richie started, like, becoming Welsh for some reason. I thought I was doing co-commentary of Rob Brydon for a second. <laughs> it's bloody amazing! <laughs> yeah. Funny thing is, is that I, c- I, I cannot keep accents consistently. It, it's a pain. Oh, you're you speaking my language there, mate. I, I actually for- forgot how to do my David Cage voice. Like, it changes every so often, and I don't know what to do. It's crazy. But then I think about the emotion, and it comes back. Like the art. The rain from the cloud. G- giving nurture to the earth. Like the artist painted the picture, and it becomes better with time. Oh no, I think I have, I think I have killed my co-commentator. He is dead. I, su- I suppose I will have to catch him in the next mission, on which there will of course be a gold rank. We'll see you next time on the final video on Luigi's Mansion 2. Goodbye for now.